Hi, I'm Theodore Sawyer. I want to introduce you to Tyson Barbera. We are in Northwest Santa Rosa, and this is the Bohemian Life. Look at Sarah. Um. <laughs> he has a wobble on his double. Did you see this? Can I? Yeah. Dirty it! I've been known as an eccentric artist, um, a garbage artist, uh, a recycled artist. I create recycled metal sculptures from reclaimed metal I get from dumpsters, Craigslist, the side of the road, or donated from neighbors. I just got this back, so I'm trying to refurbish it. I find doing the these sculptures are an outlet of feelings and emotions, good or negative, that are portrayed through the sculpture itself. Modes of transportation, walks of life, plants, animals, uh, definitely I earn all my inspirations, more or less the natural things in life from wherever across the world. It's a way of recycling and keeping the county landfills and dumps a little bit more clean. I'd also like to try to inspire people to reimagine objects in a different use or reform rather than throw it out. Perhaps it could be reused again. This is called the Apple Tree Subdivision. Apple Tree? This is Apple Tree Subdivision. It was built, it, it was built in the 70s but I am trying to place a sculpture of a flower in every neighborhood or every one of my neighbors down throughout my neighborhood so that way it can create a sense of community and enjoyment for everybody of something to do perhaps when your family's in town and it's, it's also healthy, get out and walk. Yeah, there's a blue one there, there's a red one there, there's a double one there, there's a purple one and a yellow one. And at this point I have encompassed 25 houses so far. I used the neighborhood I grew up in as a child that I moved back into for some support as community support always helps an artist bloom. Funny enough, the flowers gave me that idea and so I started with my neighborhood I grew up in and it's traveled from that neighbor's house to three adjacent streets now. The potential buyer realized that, hey, this guy actually did put the effort forward to remove this from the world, to reuse it in some other way and create this beautiful piece that I'm in love with. By all means, I think they can. It's from trash to treasure for everybody. Yeah, just today uh, some folks came by and I was noticing that there was something dropped off. Uh, of course, me, it's like Christmas every day. I go over what's in the box. It is all of a play and that's kind of the fun of being an artist. You can manipulate words, can manipulate the metal, manipulate the color, or manipulate the environment around it. So most definitely is irony on everything and you have to remember that as an artist to create not only as the piece itself, but the spatial awareness around it. It feels nice to know that uh, I've influenced the community and neighborhood all in a positive direction, at the same time helping the earth in a positive direction.